hello guys and welcome to a brand new video so today i'm going to start a completely new anime show this is sono bisco dolwa koi wo suru or my dress up darling episode number one reaction and this is another one of my winter 2022 animes that i'm going to react to okay um this show i have prior knowledge about this show because i checked out a few chapters from the beginning of the manga it was fantastic it was like one of my instant uh you know favorites mm, like this manga is like it it the the story is not like you know what can i say like that the story is nice but it's nothing extraordinary but the thing that really attracted me to this manga was the art it it had beautiful art you know and i feel like the anime you know i kind of watched the trailer a little bit i feel like the anime might be able to just you know do that bring that art to life and this is being adapted by cloverworks so i am pretty sure the visuals will be pretty good and i'm really looking forward to that and uh for the story as far as i could tell it's a normal slice of life story it's a good story you know like just like you know one boy one girl and you know just like like a normal slice of life rom-com and it's it, it it's nice it has like a nice little story like you know uh like the the premise is quite kind of a little bit different um as far as i can remember the guy uh makes dolls and the girl is really keen on cosplay that's all i remember it's been a while i've actually read the manga i don't remember much more things but the main parts i kind of remember but the main points i remember now other than that i don't remember anything else like that's all i remember and it, it it's kind of like you know they meet and like you know they, like they go to school this and that normal slice of life stuff which i really like so yeah as soon as i got to know this is going to get an adaptation i was very hyped i i was waiting for this to get adapted and just react to this and here we are it's finally out and i'm looking forward to this journey uh so yeah anyways let's get started with this um anime so yeah i'll be putting the subtitles in the timer here think it whichever is your preference and let's get started okay here's the countdown three two one go okay here we go the dolls <clears throat> Not all, yeah. The visuals are amazing. I like it. It's so clean. I forgot the guy's name. What was his name? Okay. That, wait wait because of that what what type of oh she's a kid okay i understand like kids like you know it's just kids being kids but obviously it, it's going to affect him you know as a kid to listen to something like that from his friend you know like boy All right. <laughs> the face he makes. <laughs> okay, let's hear the opening. Oh my God, she is beautiful. I I I love her art style. The, the her character design is just amazing. The main girls. Oh my God. I I think she'll probably oh oh beautiful. I was waiting for this. Oh my god. I think she'll probably be the most favorite waifu of probably this season. This girl. I don't remember his name, her name at all. I don't remember any other character other than the main characters because I I don't remember anything at all. Just the main two people I remember. The opening is kind of nice. There you go, cosplay. Yeah, cosplay dress. I remember now. Okay, I remember now. 
he makes starts making cosplay dress for her is that was that the girl from 86 My god, I love her character design so much. <laughs> oh god. She's so pretty. <sighs> okay. Someone who lives in the opposite, exact opposite world of me. <laughs> Tatematsu. All right. Wakana, okay, that's his name. I forgot. Mm. <laughs> I was on a roll. <laughs> okay. Oh, so he paints them, okay. Forty, forty-eight years. My God. Oh, okay. Yeah, he makes the costumes. Hmm. Yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. Well, that's just a normal question, you know. <laughs> yeah. Totally believable. You just tricked your grandfather. <laughs> oh my god. Gojo dolls. Oh, Gojo is his title. Okay. Wakana Gojo. I think Wakana was his name? Yeah. She's, he's tall. He's quite tall. Wait, didn't he say he doesn't have any friends? Oh, he made a mistake. <laughs> the embarrassment. <laughs> yep. Kashirashi. <laughs> Appreciating my work. <laughs> Episode six. Yeah, everyone has like formed their own groups, you know, like, oh boy. Oh, yeah, and that that memory from his childhood. Oh boy. All right, here she comes. Oh wait, what the? Random girl from the sky. <laughs> oh oh my God, yo. Is she okay? She needs to go to the hospital, I think. How hard is, this, is her head? Kitagawa. What? 
um th that's the paint my god damn the vi visuals Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you, you just shrug her off. Okay. I'm I'm very much happy with the visuals. It's perfect. <laughs> Kitagawa, I think that was her name, yeah. Mm. <clears throat> Marin. Hair modeling gig? What? Oh. <laughs> Some and What the- You! How dare you! I'm gonna slap you across the face! <laughs> Yeah, obviously, that was the correct thing to do. <laughs> yeah, like what? She on time. Uh hmm. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> she's she's doing the flow chart. <laughs> who likes who? Uh. Yeah. Uh everyone's like uh pushing their stuff on him. Uh, my god. Okay. Now nah, I need a full course meal for that. <laughs> no juice will do. Oh, okay. What? I've actually forgotten everything, you know, I don't remember anything. Like, I only remember the main, the main characters, that's it. So everything's, everything's kind of new for me as well. <laughs> like, <laughs> uh. mm, yeah. Oh, okay, that's why, okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hmm. Well. <laughs> I guess so. Mm. Yeah, just taking advantage advantage of you. Mm. There you go. 
just like he said that you know like we are like living in two different worlds she has actually accepted herself and that's why she is not afraid to express herself in front of others while he is actually embarrassed to do that because you know he thinks that the thing that he does is inferior not inferior but something unusual oh my god yo that's a lot of blood not a lot but barely kind of Wait, who hurts themselves in a, with a scissor? I've never seen anyone hurt themselves with a scissor. Knife, I can understand. <clears throat> yeah. What's happening? Oh. Hmm. These swing machines. I I remember my grandma used to have one. <laughs> swing practice room. Oh yeah, they can. He can just do this in the club room. Art and crafts club. <laughs> Yo, well, that's awkward. Oh, no, oh, my God. <gasps> <laughs> Wait, what? What's happening? Wait, what's up with her? Okay. <laughs> That's what... Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's just a head for now. But work in progress. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Okay. And there you go. There you go. It's going to strike now. <laughs> She'll be like <laughs> Okay, I remember this part. Oh my god. Yo. Wait, I don't remember this part. I forgot this part. How did I forget this part? <laughs> and... Well, cosplay clothings. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what are you wearing? Oh, okay, yeah. Yep, cosplay. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha.
Ah, oh my god. No, it's completely different. You weren't able to make it properly. Yeah, there you go. Oh my god. Yo, calm down. <laughs> yeah, you're... <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> there you go, all his reservation went out the window. <laughs> um, yeah. <laughs> Let's clean. Should I pay you? Uh, oh my god, okay. Hmm. <laughs> hmm, there you go. Cosplay. <laughs> it was that a holo? Oh my god. <laughs> no, he wasn't. <laughs> yeah. Oh, she was also making. Okay, makes sense. That's why she was here. Hmm. <laughs> My God, the visuals are amazing. <laughs> She's a katan. Damn, yeah, she's obviously she's kind of nervous about this, like mm. Yeah, but <laughs> My god. <laughs> okay, don't fall down. Okay. Saint Slippery, I can... <laughs> well, that's... Now, you know, nowadays animes have that long title. It's nothing to... You know? <laughs> it's nothing to un ordinary. That's, that's normal now. Oh, this is kind of a new type of an ending. Like, I remember we used to have endings like this quite a 
quite a long, not long, but quite a while ago. Like, you know, these type of endings. Okay, I feel like they gave out a few references in this episode. I, I, I feel like I saw Hollow from Spice and Wolf. And there were a few others as well. I think there was that girl from 86. You know, the white haired girl, I don't remember her name, but that girl. Okay. I'll be, I'll be honest, I am very happy with the visuals and the animation. It's so bright, it's so colorful, it's clean. Perfect for this anime. <clears throat> Alright. That's it. <coughs> okay, so that was the first episode of My Dress Up Darling. Uh, and yeah, I'm very happy. I'm very happy with the adaptation. And I'm very glad that this, like, this is how it's going. The visuals are fantastic. The art style is great. It's perfect for this anime. It's colorful, bright, and just expressive. And it, it was amazing. Okay, now, first things first, let me just check the different characters that they were showing you know the reference this okay where uh i think what was her name martin yeah martin uh the characters that martin was talking about okay i would say recognize that girl from 86 there are a few other girls i don't recognize them but i don't know and yeah, Holo is also there. I can see Holo from Spice and Wolf. I feel like I've seen these animes that they were referencing, but I'm probably unable to recall them. But the only two characters that I remember from these references are Holo from Spice and Wolf and, and the girl from 86. And I feel like I've seen the others as well, but I don't remember. <laughs> but I can't, I'm, or probably I can't recall them. But anyways. All right, uh, this episode, uh, okay, the first episode of uh, My Dress of Darling. And uh, now, as I said, like, you know, I have kind of read the manga, the first few chapters. And, you know, the thing that really attracted me to this is the art style. And I'm really glad that they are kind of keeping the same art style with, you know, like, you know, like when you read a manga and you see the art style and you kind of envision like, oh, this will kind of look like this if it somehow someday gets an anime adaptation the way you kind of imagine and envision it you know like i similarly i had a similar thing in my head just like that you know when i read the first few chapters i was so impressed with the art i was like okay like i'm sure if it someday gets an adaptation it will be something like you know i had a mental image in my mind and i feel like um, cloverworks was able to properly capture that perfectly it's just as i imagined it would have been you know and it is is perfect it's perfect i'm i'm really liking this and <clears throat> yeah okay so this episode here it's a very fairly easy like you know plot nothing too complicated um there's this guy who is uh who someone likes uh, who likes who's someone who likes to make uh hina dolls you know like kind of make them and you know make clothing for them as well and he is training under her his grandfather and he's trying to make stuff like his grandfather but unfortunately currently he has does not have enough skill to do that but he's still trying and that's just him you know he has a little what do you call it inferiority complex you can say that because he thinks that like you know the like here's the thing you know <coughs> how do you like you know why do you get embarrassed in actually telling some of your hobbies to other people you know why like i i remember there was a time um when i started anime watching barely started anime watching um it it still was like one of the initial time that anime was kind of getting popular and we had this whole thing of oh people who watch anime they you know they're, they're childish they're you know like the, the childish yeah like uh, like in my country it was not that prevalent that much 
you know so i obviously did not have to face much things but i i do know and do realize that there probably were a few de definitely a lot of pay people who had to actually face this type of a thing where they were actually scared to tell others that i like anime because people will then then judge them they'll be like oh you like those things those animations those things that kids watch like i've seen a lot of people's kind of refer to anime like that i've like you know, like i myself have experience about like I've, i remember like uh there was like one person who actually told me that oh you're still watching those grow up ah boy <laughs> ah like like this these things i i remember like you know there were a few people who kind of actually told me but don't don't give like you know those like you know don't listen to them you like hobby is just something that uh you like you know like for yourself it's something that you like to do you know you should should definitely listen not listen to others you know like selecting why selecting your hobbies but yeah this was this thing you know so what actually happens we start liking something from maybe our childhood or some sometime just like how this you know how gojo started liking to make like, you know these hina dolls he loved it and he was very passionate about it then comes a time when you start interacting with other people your age your friends and stuff you make friends and you know they get closer to you you get closer to them and you start talking and obviously just like how people are you know whenever we make a friend whenever we make like you know like which we're very like, you know we enjoy talking with someone we feel like sharing everything about us and you know vice versa that's why like you know uh, when a time comes that you can call that person your friend you start talking you say that you know what there is this thing that is my hobby which i really like and i'm sure that's the same thing that happened to gojo he probably just like you know that girl he probably just told that girl or maybe the girl got to know herself that he starts like you know he likes making those dolls and here's what everything like you know kind of goes wrong most like quite a few times just like how it went wrong here that other person starts judging you you know because of your hobbies and this this will probably be like the first time and you know what it's kind of very sad and very uh what do you kind of it hurts you know when you actually see someone in not insulting but kind of yeah insulting putting it down and denying the thing that you love that is your hobby you know when someone does that it kind of hurts because you are so passionate about this and you thought like that one person you thought to be your friend you actually open your heart to that person and that person like says that oh this like that's something like you know like you do ah lame and just goes away like how would you feel about that and a similar kind of similar kind of a situation happened with gojo where he just probably the girl got to know that and the girl is like oh you like that you, you know you're weird you know like uh, dolls are something that girls play with and here's another thing like you know, like another factor kind of starts playing over here is the the, the stigmata you know not I, I, is that what you call it i think so you know the, the 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 norms or whatever you call it like oh girls play with dolls that means if a boy like you know somehow starts liking dolls and like you know like that will be weird like this type of thing this type of social norms stigmata whatever you call it i'm not sure what you call it <laughs> my vocabulary is quite low <laughs> but i'm sure you can understand what i'm trying to say so this thing that oh this equals to this if this equals to this happens then it's wrong this thing you know like why can't a boy play with a doll you know why can't a boy like you know like something um, different than he should like or he is sh supposed to like you know not every every guy likes playing with cars you know not every person wants to just go around hang out with their friends maybe someone just likes to kind of chill in their house watch a movie or you know watch a little anime like people are different and here's what it happens that uh, when you were a child if you suddenly hear something that harsh in front of your face you know the person who you thought you was your friend if that person suddenly tells you something like this about your hobby the thing that you like you're going to get crushed and that will probably be something that's going to latch onto your heart and mind forever it'll be kind of like a little emotional emotional trauma or something same thing happened to gojo he that one day probably is something that affected him so much that from here on onwards he realized you know what 
I'll just hide my hobby because you know no one will be able to actually get me. Everyone will kind of react like that, and I don't want anyone bad mouthing the thing that I like. And this is this is so relatable, you know. This this whole thing, like as I said, like you know, like I'm sure most of us who are watching this now, you know, like you people who are watching this discussion now and are watching this anime, I'm sure most of you would probably be able to kind of relate to this because we. We are some people who watch animes, and there is still, you know, there's this whole thing of like, you know, people saying that oh, anime is for, you know, kids, and anime is lame, or oh, you watch anime, you're one of the lame people. This thing still exists, you know, and it's kind of low. It's, it's very, it has gone very much down because I'm, I'm like, you know, anime is kind of getting worldwide popularity. It's kind of nice, you know, like people are actually accepting everyone. But still, there are people who still kind of does that same thing that, oh, you watch anime, you're lame, like this type of thing and starts insulting anime or whatever. I don't know. Like not only here, I've seen in a lot of comment section as well. Like I, I play games and stuff. There's like this forum where I kind of uh, I remember I saw like people actually talking bad about anime saying like, oh, anime, like, you know, like uh, weird, like weird stuff like that. That same person is like playing video games. Like I can also say, say the same thing about video games. Like, you know, like, I think that that person said something about, like, wasting away your time or something, watching, like, these lame shows or something, something like that, I remember, like, the irony, like, that same person is probably has, like, 900 hours in a certain game, you know, like, that's what I'm saying, like, you know, like, do not, do not downplay anything, people have different uh, hobbies, people have different tastes, like, they can do whatever they want to in their own time, like, if you, if you, like, I'm, I, I understand, like, if you are not keen on, like, you know, anime but no need to like you know kind of put it down or insult it like that's weird and that's that's very mature but people will be people you know like nothing you can do about it but anyways uh, i kind of went on a huge <laughs> discussion in this portion but this as i was saying this 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 could probably be very relatable to all of us who are watching this because this whole thing with anime still exists the people judge you for the whole thing and Gojo is in a similar situation here. So that's why, you know, like, I remember, like, me, I also kind of, like, you know, hiding that I like anime to my, when I was at school, you know. Like, as I said, like, in my country, there was, this thing was not so prevalent, you know. Uh, people used to accept, like, you know, if you watch anime, but still, there was this kind of thing. There were a few people who used to like, comment, like, you know, pass off comments like this. And just, you know, like, look down on you because you love anime. <laughs> so yeah that's why i thought like you know what just 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 keep it keep it to myself no need to just tell anyone that i watch anime but nowadays as i said anime is a, anime is a lot popular and nowadays i don't even care like you know like i can just like <laughs> like if someone says that oh you like anime i'll be like yeah i like anime so what you know like people have different um what do you call it uh different hobbies and different things it's similar to a hobby so you know nothing wrong with it <sighs> anyways uh, i'll stop now Okay, um, so yeah, this, this thing was very relatable and as he kind of shut himself down, did not tell anyone about his own hobby, his own likings, the thing that he likes. But here we can see Marin, this other girl who has accepted herself, you know, and she also is not afraid to actually say that, yeah, I like anime. Like we see as like, you know, he kind of, she kind of accounts, a, like, you know, talks about a situation where there's this guy, random hot guy, you know, um, who comes in front of her and she's like, oh, that, like an anime, haha, <laughs> you still watch that, <laughs> it's lame, totally lame, <laughs> like, my god, and obviously he, he, she was bound to get pissed because it's something that she likes and you're basically insulting that in front of her, her face, like, dude, you, like, you just met her, like, have some basic decency. But yeah, like these people think they're too cool for the, like, you know, anime. So obviously that guy starts insulting and mine is like, yeah, go screw yourself. I don't care. <laughs> so, and you know, like she talks about this, starts talking and we can see like, you know, she gets so passionate whenever like talking about uh, Shiontan, I think that's what she, <laughs> she was talking about. And she starts passionately saying that, you know what, like how dare he call Sh Shiontan that thing. And she start talking about oh this person like this one you know like talking about anime like she starts talking about the ships or whatever you know like and starts like making a flowchart on the board which kind of shows that she doesn't care if anyone sees her talking about it 
like you know she herself has accepted it and she's not afraid to say that which unfortunately like you know gojo has still unable to do is unable to do because of her his past trauma like he thinks that oh like if i tell people that i watch anime um people will judge me just like that one girl and he still hasn't gotten enough uh what do you call it mm. courage to do that <clears throat> so yeah like this is a huge thing you know like this thing like the, the the thing with us is like we actually give too much uh priority to what other people think and i think that's pretty normal for everyone to do like you know like rumors and people talking behind your back is a pretty bad feeling you know like if you feel weird you feel sad but people who are able to accept that and just doesn't care i think those people are the one who can probably probably like you know move forward you know and just enjoy what they're doing and mine is probably the best example of that because she doesn't care <clears throat> if 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 anyone actually talks behind her back that's that just shows their sense of you know like maturity and their like you know what do you call it conduct you know <clears throat> like it, it, it's just that like you know and that's just it so anyways um so he, yeah he <clears throat> and then mari kind mari kind of sees that he is being like you know everyone's kind of pushing their things on him you know just like how people make as soon as in a new classroom people start making groups and kind of like you know become like has a little, little friend circle every school has this and unfortunately as he said like you know he cannot talk to anyone about his own hobbies and <clears throat> it's kind of like a quiet guy so nobody actually kind of interacted with him and yeah so everyone starts pushing stuff on him because like you know no one's there to help him out when and mine kind of sees that mine is like oh are they like bothering you or something you're not saying anything to them aren't you bothered and he's like yeah i am bothered but you know like i don't want to you know make it awkward for them or something you know, i just want to be in peace and mine then says that you know like if you keep doing this like everyone's going to keep take keep taking advantage of your you and you need to stop and actually listen to your own heart you know your own feelings for your own sake otherwise you won't be able to keep up it is a very good like you know advice like obviously and okay and then the next day he actually goes to the club room because his sewing machine got you know busted and he goes to the club room to kind of sew and here's where everything starts you know mine comes in she sees gojo with you know the sewing machine and obviously gojo thinks like oh my god like he she saw me actually smiling at the uh, hina doll you know and she definitely thinks of me as a creep or something and but obviously she, she i think she didn't even see that like you know like she that didn't even register in her head she was so excited seeing him like you know in the sewing machine like she was like Oh you 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 know how to do the swing machine <laughs> and then you know like and then she starts stripping like and the, like don't do that like you know like even though gojo is a nice guy he's a complete stranger to you <laughs> like like <laughs> like <laughs> i don't know what she thought about that moment but yeah and then she's like you know um changed into her cosplay clothing and she's like oh i'm trying to do this cosplay shows gojo the picture and gojo's like what is this you know this is bad and like everything goes out the window his like you know sense of self and he like he transforms into this type of a person who is just in full on professional mode he just goes in there and she's like you know touching her sleeves like you know bringing his face in in front of his her face and he's just seeing the dress and he's like oh this part is wrong this part is wrong <laughs> Oh boy and then he realizes what he's doing <laughs> and he's like okay just forgive me i'll pay you <laughs> i'll pay you money <laughs> just forgive me oh but yeah obviously mine doesn't care about that marine is like um <clears throat> yeah marine is like oh like i want to like you know dress in these type of clothing because i want to become that person now you know like the, here's the thing like 
like the, the cosplay is obviously a huge thing i'm sure a lot of people does cosplay uh like you know like there's there's certain things which actually kind of strikes in you you know like you you won't like each and everything like just like you know like just because you're in the anime like you know you like anime obviously there is a lot of people who is kind of neutral on cosplay and there's a lot of people who loves cosplay you know like that's like their only thing or something there's a lot of people who likes rp you know role playing a lot of people um who likes sketching drawing all this stuff different people different like you know tastes so just like me like you know i i love anime as you can see say and you know, i love listening to anime songs i love visual novels which is kind of a unique thing at least for me because i've seen a lot of people most people don't usually read visual novels so that's like a unique thing for me you know like just because just because i like visual novels not like you know, obviously most people won't like visual novels or, or, or will be neutral on that it's just just like my your own unique thing just like that there are also different people who are very big on cosplay and marin is probably one of them just like she actually explains what cosplaying means to her you know she says that wait a minute uh where is that part i really liked her explanation okay um, Okay, I made this because I wanted to cosplay. Okay, I want to wear... Okay, just a sec. Where is that part? Yeah, I want to wear the same things as manga, anime, and game characters. <clears throat> um, cosplaying allows you to express just how much you love about your faves. <clears throat> Isn't it awesome? It's basically the ultimate form of love. And yeah, there you go. Like, that's how she explains it to Gojo. You know, she's like just be, like you know just because uh you like anime and that that one character so much you want to become that that character and that's like one one type of uh love you know the the love that she feels towards anime and these characters that's her way of expressing love and as i said it differs from various people just like how you know if you actually ask me what do you do you like about visual novels i would say that the atmosphere really like you know and en en entices me you know like like reading lines upon lines can be a little bit boring but it it gives goes visual novels goes into such depths that you wouldn't actually find that in a normal anime you know you feel like you get transported into that other world and with the little music the sound effects and the voice acting you is is just a, one of the ultimate forms of like you know my like you know like the thing that i like about it you know like this is how i would explain it a lot of people won't get that just like you know how mine kind of explains how she likes uh, cosplay but I'm sure like a lot of people won't be able to know that particular feeling just like how I obviously I'm not that big at cosplay like with cosplay uh, I can understand what she's saying but I won't get that feeling you know but since like you know we, we can all respect each other's hobbies and that's just it and that's the best part of anime there's like so much so many things you have you know there's so many things as I said role playing um, you know like cosplaying um, anything else visual novels anime anime games as well um what else uh like going to conventions you know uh drawing manga sketching reading manga you know, light novels you know these type of things like it's like so many things you can like about anime like so many different branches and that's what makes it so good and uh, yeah anyways uh so yeah she she says that okay like so can you help me out and Gojo is like, all right, I've never made any human clothings. You know, I've only made doll clothings, but I'll try my best to help you out. Because, you know, like she, he's also, he was also fascinated because he saw how this, like, you know, one girl is, like, you know, just doing what she loves. Doesn't care about anyone's opinions. She's just doing what she likes. And she, like, you know, she, she came up with the courage to actually ask help for, from someone who basically she doesn't even know. It's like Gojo is still a stranger to her. So that courage, she like you know brought out which unfortunately he still hasn't been able to do bring out that courage so he sees like you know her trying so much and so he's like yeah i'm going to help you out and uh, that was it that was how this ends and uh, yeah this will be a fantastic like you know anime i I'm, I'm i love it and as i said like you know like i'm no i kind of remember the main characters and that's just it i don't remember anything else i I've, I've actually forgotten everything that happened in this uh you know in, in this first episode i i actually have forgotten i only remember the two main characters and that's just it 
like yeah so because usually usually you know like since these anim- mangas get like adapted like you know the, the chapters kind of come out quite slowly you know that's why like you know like i kind of read the first few chapters it was still ongoing and i like you know kind of left it uh, for some time and forgot about it and then suddenly i saw like it's getting an anime adaptation so yeah i remember nothing it's the main characters that's the only thing i remember so everything should also probably be like a new experience for me and i might recognize a few portions here and there i might be like oh this scene uh, i kind of remember that i might be like that but that will be just it <laughs> most of the things i probably won't remember so i'm kind of looking forward to you know experiencing everything for the first time because anime you know anime kind of gets stuck in your head like and that's why i really prefer anime to manga there there's definitely a lot of mangas which are very superior even to the anime counterpart but usually normally i kind of prefer anime and that's why you know like whenever like a manga gets popular starts getting popular and i realize that ah this is going to get an adaptation i immediately stop because i want to actually experience it in anime form but if the anime messes up i probably go back to the manga manga again <laughs> like the adaptation is important you need a good adaptation <clears throat> and i feel like this this adaptation will be perfect i'm really hoping for the best so yeah and the visuals are oh my god fantastic my god beautiful beautiful visuals and this was one of the most things one of the biggest thing that was i was actually concerned about like the visuals and the drawings and it's it's perfect and as i said like you know i really like the main girl here because she she's one of the most prettiest female characters i've ever seen at least like you know, in in anime manga or anything one of the prettiest characters like i i like really love her and yeah looking forward to more and her personality is so sweet you know you guys can you know as you go on like you know watch the anime you'll understand like she's one of the most sweetest character and and then and i also have this one thing like when i really like uh, uh the character archetype you know like you know the uh, gal gal yeah gal the gal type of like you know the characters who kind of like you know uh, talk in a very different manner you know like uh, a few of them are kind of usually like you know wear a tan and they have this blonde hair like you know very flashy like you know uh, nail color and stuff and have like you know put a quite, quite a bit of makeup and they have this really like you know interesting way of speaking to their friends and uh, i think she she is kind of like a gal you know like the way she inter- she interacts with her friends and everything and this is one thing that i like you know I, I really like in anime characters i don't know why but there is something in gals that i really kind of like so she, she's she, she's not that like you know that heavy of a like you know like her character archetype is not that much of a gal like but there is like you know parts of her that kind of reminds me of a gal and yeah i i just love that so yeah like she's she's like one of my favorite characters and i'm i'm glad that the anime is doing like you know uh like what do you say like the, the anime is bringing justice to her character like it's a good adaptation so yeah that was it so that was the first episode of my dress up darling so if you guys enjoyed this video be sure to press the like button subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed comment down below anything you want to say anything you want to let me know and i'll check them out so yeah that's it thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys next week with another episode of my dress up darling until then goodbye and have a nice day